What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in CapCut so you can have a conversation with yourself in CapCut. Okay, fine, now go change that up. Fine. Right, so without wasting your time, let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, now record your video and take it to CapCut. So this is my video here. Now let me show you guys how I recorded my video because it was a one take video. I didn't record stop and record the other part, okay? So first I recorded this part. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to. So here I'm acting like I'm looking at the other person that's supposed to be here. Alright? So I looked at that direction. Now the video continued. I looked to other direction for a while because the person is supposed to be talking at this point when I turn my head. So then I said something else. Okay, fine. Now go change. Which is why it's very good when you write your script for this kind of thing. Now I'm just using this for lesson and like uh, an example. Then I went to change my color to come play the other character. Then I come here. This is me changing. Then I came here. So this is me here. Clean with yourself in. Clean yourself in CapCut so you can have a conversation with yourself in CapCut. So this is me playing the other character. Now you realize that I did not. The first character was here. Okay, and this is the second character here. So I kept this space in the middle because we're going to have to mask it up, put them together. So you don't make sure your character don't like they don't interlap. Like the way they sit don't interlap. They have to have this weird space between them. All right. So let's start the editing. So this is the first part of the script. What's up, guys? Into Sorry, I didn't really write the script. I just said this is a freestyle. What's up, guys? Into this video, I'm going to show you how to. So where I turn to look, I highlight my video and I click on split. Okay, then I'll go to the end where I'm playing the other character. So you should know what you want your characters to say. Like a conversation. So here. Here where I'm saying clone yourself in Kafka. This is why I need another split. So I'm just going to highlight, shift it a little bit like this. Split, let me play. Clean your service. Good, this is perfect. Now this clip, this other clip, I'm going to take this clip and I make it an overlay. So go down here, go to overlay. This is overlay. Click on overlay, you're going to make it an overlay. And then drag it to where you did your first split. Okay, here, but this is the first split is here. And put it in alignment like that. So let's play it. What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to. You see that? Now the overlay clip is playing. So highlight the overlay clip and go to mask. Click on horizontal mask. And then we'll rotate it like this to show both characters in the scene. You see the importance of keeping the space between them, right? This is it right here. Now when I click on group down here, you're going to see a line between the two scenes. This is a line here. You see in this line. So to deal with that, go back to mask and use this feather button. Okay. Drag it a little bit. So you kind of merge the two scenes and that line will disappear. Okay. Now let's play it again. Show you how to clone yourself in CapCut so you can have a conversation with yourself in CapCut. So at this point where my overlay clip is trying to look at the other character, even though the looking is not really proper, I am going to click on split on my main video, not the overlay on my main video. I'll click on split here because I'm looking for somewhere else. There's a space where he's supposed to tell something to the guy to go change. So let's look for that spot. Fine, now we'll change that top. Okay, fine, now we'll change that top. So at this point. Okay, fine, now we'll change that top. So I'm going to come here where I said, okay, fine, go change that top. Click on split. Change that top. That's too late here. Look at the right spot. Fine, now we'll change. No, it's a little bit here. Okay, fine, now we'll change that top. Okay, so that is it. So this middle part is useless right now. It's useless. So I'm going to click on delete. And this is what we're going to have. Let's play it from the beginning. What's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean yourself in CapCut so you can have a conversation with yourself in CapCut. Okay, fine. Now we'll change that up. Fine. So you see here, that is just basically everything because now it's going to have to work. I did not really stay down for long. This character normally at this point. This character was supposed to sit down for a while so that this man can get off the seat and go. But because of the masking, if I let it 
uh, let both of them work off they're going to like it's going to cut the images for example if i play it here you see that so that shouldn't happen so at this point this is where i'm going to clip my video and call it you know bye bye i'm gonna end the video here at this point where they are getting up like this because i don't want that to show off i'm going to clip it off and i'll delete this part of the overlay and that part of the overlay and this is all we have so guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to clone yourself in CapCut so you can have a conversation with yourself in CapCut. okay fine i'll go change that up fine yeah so it's a very easy trick the thing is you is way better when you write script for the two characters you want to play you don't have to change your dress if you're writing your script is better this character say this script the other one say this and you're going to know how much time you need to keep uh between you know each script that they say you understand so that is just it it's pretty easy now at this point where this character is appearing this new character here you can now put some sound effects to it okay just go to sound and put some side effect so you can just go to sound here to audio and go to sound effects and you put some sound effects like an appearing sound or something so i'm not going to do that here but that's something you can do there it's pretty cool now at this point all you need to do is decide how you want it to be saved and then you click on export that's it you have it in your device now let's check it out what's up guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to clone yourself in CapCut so you can have a conversation with yourself in CapCut. okay fine now go change that up fine all right so if you're going to be having a long conversation with yourself i advise you write a script okay so you know what you're going to say and when you're going to say like this video i did not write a script i just freestyled it okay because i just did my intro very short all right guys so that's it for the tutorial it's pretty easy you know CapCut can do a lot of things so if you want to learn how to make this trick then watch this video on your screen i'll see you guys in the next one